Today we remember the souls of Al and Mary Bethune. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Robert Bellarmine, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call upon God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who adorned the bishop, St. Robert Bellarmine, with the wonderful learning and virtue to vindicate the faith of your church, grant through his intercession that in the integrity of that same faith, your people may always find joy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of Paul to Timothy. My child, teach and urge these duties. Whoever teaches otherwise and does not agree with the sound words of our Lord Jesus Christ and the teaching that is in accordance with godliness is conceited, understanding, nothing, and has a morbid craving for controversy and for disputes about words. From these come envy, dissension, slander, base suspicions and wrangling among those who are depraved in mind and bereft of the truth, imagining that godliness is a means of gain. Of course, there is great gain in godliness combined with contentment, for we brought nothing into the world so that we can take nothing out of it. But if we have food and clothing, we will be content with these things. But those who want to be rich fall into temptation and are trapped by many senseless and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil, and in their eagerness to be rich, some have wandered away from the faith and pierced themselves with many pains. But as for you, man of God, shun all this. Pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, gentleness. Fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called and for which you made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. The word of the Lord. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Why should I fear in times of trouble when the iniquity of my persecutors surround me, those who trust in their wealth and boast of the abundance of their riches? Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Truly, no ransom avails for one's life. 
there is no price one can give to God for it. For the ransom of life is costly and can never suffice, that one should live on forever and never see the grave. Do not be afraid when some become rich, when the wealth of their houses increases. For when they die, they will carry nothing away. Their wealth will not go down after them. Though in their lifetime they count themselves happy, for you are praised when you do well for yourself, they will go to the company of their ancestors who will never again see the light. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went on through cities and villages, proclaiming and bringing the good news of the kingdom of God. The twelve were with him, as well as some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary, called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out and Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, Chuzza, and Susanna, and many others, who provided for Jesus and the Twelve out of their resources. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I think in some respects this passage with its final line, uh, they provided for Jesus and the Twelve out of their resources, could be like a a bit of a throwaway line. You just may think of it as a matter-of-fact kind of statement. But actually, it's quite a profound idea that these women who had been accompanying Jesus with the Twelve had been called and had had a, a magnificent closeness with the Lord, and that they had resources. Like it was, it would have been such an unusual thing for women in that era and that time to have their own resources. Oftentimes, widows and orphans ended up at the bottom of the heap, if you will, and and were not able to provide, and so that's how the, the requirement, the injunctive to, to provide for the widows and the orphans came about in the Jewish tradition. So here were women who not only had resources, but they used them, and they were in this relationship with the Lord, that God had, had that Jesus had reached out in a way that transcended all kinds of typical, stereotypical uh, gender boundaries and included them in the work of the kingdom. They were included because they were supporting the ministry, the work of the apostles and Jesus. As we come to the Eucharist today, we come seeking that strength to recognize the, the radical call of Jesus to each and every one of us to be his disciples and to announce the good news in every corner of our lives. Forgot the big host.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness that we have this bread to offer. Truth is given, human hands have made, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness that we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings we set upon this sacred altar on the feast day, of St. Robert Bellarmine, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Robert Bellarmine, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and the blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, the Martyrs, St. Robert Bellarmine, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the risen Lord who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of blessed Robert Bellarmine, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.